my friends. Welcome to this week's reading vlog. I haven't done a reading vlog in a very long time, a hot second. So much has happened. Not really, I've just been in bed being sad. <laughs> but this is a new month. March marks new beginnings, new opportunities. March is going to be my month. I said it. I have many exciting reading plans for this reading vlog, but before I can get into my plans, I do have to thank the sponsor of today's vlog, which is Book of the Month. Listen, Book of the Month has been such a great supporter of myself and my channel. And honestly, if it weren't for Book of the Month, I wouldn't have found my favorite book of February. If you don't know, Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers like myself and you, if you're watching. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books that they are bound to love. Their team vets hundreds of books to give us a monthly selection of new and early release titles so we can spend more time reading and less time researching. And this time around, they're actually experimenting with the quantity of books each month. So for March, we actually have seven books to choose from, not five, seven. And for me, that just means more opportunities to find a new favorite book, and that is so exciting. Book of the Month is also risk-free. You can skip any month, any time, and you will not be charged. You can get your first book for only $9.99 using the code PICKME. Let's take a look at the seven books that we have for March. First up, we have The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley, A Locked Room Mystery, A Dysfunctional Family, Unreliable Narrators, and A Rundown Apartment in Paris you will devour this twisted mystery thriller. The Unsinkable Greta James by Jennifer E. Smith. An indie musician reeling from tragedy reconnects with her estranged father on a week-long cruise in this tale of grief, fame, and love. The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. A true crime blogger gets more than she bargained for while interviewing the woman acquitted of two cold case slayings. The Cartographers by Peng Shepard. A highly imaginative thriller about a young woman who discovers that a strange map in her deceased father's belongings holds a deadly secret. Tell Me Everything by Erica Cruz. Part memoir and part literary true crime, Tell Me Everything is the mesmerizing story of a landmark sexual assault investigation and the female private investigator who helped crack it open. Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma features a love-phobic TV doctor who must convince a love-obsessed homebody they are destined to be together. And finally, The Verifiers by Jane Peck, a clever and incisive examination of how technology shapes our choices and the nature of romantic love in the digital age. Make sure to head to bookofthemonth.com to get your first book for only $9.99 using the code PICKME. As you can see, we have a wide array of books, but I think the ones that I am most excited for are Dating Dr. Dill, who doesn't love a good romance, and also The Paris Apartment because this just reminds me of the board game Clue. I don't know if you've played it, but it's basically there's been a murder and we have all of these different suspects and we have to just play and see who the murderer is and it's just so fun and I loved it and this sounds just like the Clue board game so I feel like it's gonna be amazing. You know those reading plans that I talked about? It includes these. While I was away, I did decide to do something a little bit adventurous. I started a pretty intimidating book. Um, and I haven't done a lot of progress on it. It's very intimidating because it's so big. And I also don't like the main character, so that's definitely hindering my reading process. This has been on my TBR for two years or one year and a half for a long time. And I only recently picked it up because, you know, I read War and Peace and... <laughs> No, but uh, I just, I don't know, it, I saw it and I was like, might as well try, who knows, maybe I'll actually love it. 270 pages in, I'm not loving it, <laughs> but I still have a very long way to go, and that is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas, the disgusting cover that this is. I wish, I wish I had like the cool fan-made cover that has like the woman, the, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. It doesn't even look cute, you know what I mean? These are like my daily goal <laughs> that did not work i haven't hit a daily goal in like a week so that's been tragic that's been very tragic this is where i am right now it's page 277 
And I do not like Nesta. I understand trauma is different for everyone, but she, even before the trauma happened, she was a very despicable character and what she went through heightened all of her negative characteristics. The only reason I've kept on going is because of Cassian. Because Cassian is Cassian. I mean, you can't say no to Cassian unless you're Nesta and you're an idiot. Not having a good old time, not not feeling my best reading this. This is a bit boring, I'm not gonna lie. And I do enjoy the moments where we see cameos of our other favorite characters. I do enjoy when they're on the scene, but I've come to realize that side characters can't really make a book good. I mean, if the main characters are like Nesta, I don't think, like this is, this isn't feeling like a three star at the moment. This is like a very low two, which sucks because I think we all know. A Court of Mist and Fury, one of my favorite books. I think probably one of my most heavily annotated books ever. And I live by this. I know that this makes me a trash reader. I really don't mind being called that because if, if a book can make me this happy, I don't mind what other people call me because this truly really does make me happy and this is just ruining the whole thing for me so i don't know what to tell you boss but uh it ain't good it ain't good on the k-drama front i'm so I, overwhelmed you know what i mean because there's there's like five different k-dramas that i'm interested in and they're all coming out at the same time how am i supposed to catch up with all of these k-dramas when i'm also supposed to be reading and working and watching anime and doing other stuff K-dramas need to slow down, like, yeah, but um, I'm currently watching Ghost Doctor, I'm in episode 13, and it's really funny, it's really cute, uh, but, it, but it has been getting like a little repetitive, so I don't know when I'm going to be reading it, I'm definitely going to be finishing it because I'm literally three episodes away from the ending, but at this point i've grown like a little bit detached from it i don't necessarily need a love storyline for me to be entertained by the k-drama but um i don't know i'm not really feeling this one i do love the actors that are on it but uh yeah yeah there's not much to this one gotta be honest there's so many good k-dramas coming out and i just need I need to do like some extreme time management so that I can watch all of them and appreciate them. Honestly, it feels a bit weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It feels a bit weird to be recording again. I did upload my February wrap up and I've been receiving so much love, so much love. I thought people would, be, would have forgotten about me because it had been a whole month since I last posted. I am sorry for my impromptu hiatus. February was not it for me. Reading wise, I did really good. I read 15 books, but like mentally wise, I was not there. <laughs> I was not there. But I'm hoping that March is going to be so much better. And I'm so happy that I'm creating again because I really do love this community. And on my Discord server, we've just grown so, so much closer and we're doing so many fun things together. And I just love this little family that I have. And yeah, I don't want to do anything to jeopardize it. And I really want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. If you're new here also, I just want to welcome you. I hope you feel comfortable. I hope you enjoy. I hope you feel safe. I hope we just have a good old time together. And yeah, I think for today, I'm going to finish Ghost Doctor because that's just been like hanging over my head. I've been watching it for the longest time. So I'm gonna finish Ghost Doctor and then maybe pick up a book. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not in the reading mood. I feel like reading 15 books in one month kind of like burned me out. And now just looking at a book, I'm like, oh, it could also be because I'm reading Silver Flames and I'm hating it. So that could be it. That could be it. But yeah, so we'll just see where the day takes us but i hope you enjoy this reading vlog i'm so happy to be back i love you all so very much and let's carry on with the rest of the vlog
I just woke up, but um, I need to vlog because I have packages. I have packages that I need to open because they're books. I know what this is. I do not know what this is, but it's pretty heavy. Wait, it's the other way around. I know what this is, but I don't know what this is. And I'm excited because they're both books. And of course, I need to share this with you guys. But before I do, it's 8.35 a.m. And I have my Patreon Buddy Read live show for Kingdom of the Wicked. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so funny to me because everybody hated this book. Um, and by everybody, I mean like the Patreons that read it with me. They were trashing this book like there was no tomorrow. They hated so many things, but I had so much fun. <laughs> Uh, so the live show is definitely going to be interesting because everybody's just going to be crapping on this book. Yet here I am, loving life, and I'm just very excited to talk about this book. And today I also have to edit the reading vlog for this, which is going to be very crack-headed because most of the footage is from like 10 p.m. onward. And if you know me, after 9 p.m., I'm just, I'm a wild card. I'm deranged, like clinically deranged. I am actually deranged. I don't know if you know this about me, but I am actually physically, um, um, like doctor approved. What's that word when you're like certifiably insane? Yes, that is me, hi. Somebody just joined the reading. <laughs> it's very <Who are> alone. <laughs> Oh my god, that's me. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this in case you're interested on joining my Patreon and reading with me and getting exclusive content. And now that that plug is over, <laughs> why don't we open this one? Because I do know what it is. I ordered it myself and it's very exciting. So the first, oof, my god, you are a Stunner. <gasps> okay, so this is volume 14 of Jujutsu Kaisen by Gege Akutami. Akutami, yes. L this has Sukuna in the cover art. And like the color palette, I'm sorry, I am literally on my knees. I have not read volume 11. I do have volumes 11, 12, 13, and now 14 waiting for me to pick it up. So I think I'm going to do like a cute little 
manga readathon because I do have a lot of volumes that I have yet to read. So that would be fun. And how can I not pick this up immediately? Holy crap on a cracker. Yes. The next book is actually March's Patreon Buddy Read. And I am so excited because so many people have recommended this author to me. They say that I'm going to love her. And I have seen books with Chloe loving this author as well. You may know her as the queen of slow burn romance. And if that doesn't tell you who it is, I don't know what will. But here we have From Luca with Love by Mariana Zapata. Yes, I, this is quite a chunker. This has 530 pages. Okay. <laughs> I think this is the longest Patreon buddy read we've ever had so far. So many people, as I said, have recommended her books to me. And this is also like ice skating. So this is giving me Yuri on ice. And if you know me, you know that I love Yuri on ice. If someone were to ask Jasmine Santos to describe the last few years of her life with a single word, it would definitely be a four letter one. After 17 years and countless broken bones and broken promises, she knows her window to compete in figure skating is coming to a close. But when the offer of a lifetime comes in from an arrogant idiot she's spent the last decade dreaming about pushing in the way of a moving bus, very mean girls of you, Jasmine might have to reconsider everything, including Ivan Lukov. Lukov? 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 We do have this mystery box, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this <gasps> sorry um i don't think i'm ready can you see it Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh my god oh my god yes thank you for being so friendly and welcoming on your discord and for creating such a warm and lovely community i hope you enjoy this gift from man Yes, yes, yes. Mandy sent me volume 16 of Full Metal Alchemist. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I just say? Oof, I can't say. I just. Exactly this. Are you seeing this? Yes. Um, it's this for me. Oh my god. Can I just draw? Oh! Can I just drop everything and start reading volume 16? Like I did mention I did want to do like a manga readathon and now I have a brand new Full Metal Alchemist volume to get through. <sighs> My blood is boiling in the best way possible. I am... <laughs> yes, thank you so much Mandy for sending this to me. I will cherish this with my life. Very sexy, very sexy choices loving this so now that i've opened up my lovely packages i think i'm gonna go have breakfast and maybe i'll watch some more of my k drama i have been in a in the loveliest of moods to watch k dramas i recently finished our beloved summer and i cried i loved it it was my first five star in a very long time like i have been watching k dramas that are like four stars or 4.5 but it's been a long time since i found like a five star k-drama and this one just deserved every single star that i could give it so yeah if you haven't seen our beloved summer it's on netflix you should definitely watch it if you're in the mood for like a second chance romance and just like really nice character development and character banter and life you know like it's one of those life k-dramas that just hurt in the best way possible 10 out of 10 would recommend so i'm gonna go have breakfast now keep watching my new k-drama and yes i'll talk to you guys later
brothers should be together though. Hey Jimmy, you nice, keep going.